वेलकम टू साइंस स्टोर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस forget to like our video and subscribe our youtube channel for all the updates uh, dear students let us look at the 13th uh, question now limit uh, x tends to 1 greatest integer of x minus 1 is all right so where uh, this symbol indicates uh, greatest integer function please understand the graph of greatest integer function uh, everything will falls in place so you have x and y all right so from 0 to 1 you have the first step correct then from 1 to 2 if you have 1.1 1.2 and all what is 1.21 what is the greatest integer out of this greatest integer is 1 correct and uh, if you have uh, uh, 1.5 1 1.9991 so till 1.999 you will have 1 correct and uh, y is 1 when x is 1.21 correct so when x is 1.21 y is 1 and at 1.999 it is still 1 but at 2 it will be 2 okay so from 2 to 3 that will jump to 3 uh, that will jump to 2 i'm sorry so 2 to 3 it will be 2 so it is a step function okay this is the first step second step third step i hope you uh, know very well the greatest integer function we have to use that uh, graph to understand this now do you have only one uh, i mean do you have to find the limit directly or do you need to use left hand limit and right hand limit yeah you have to use left hand and right hand because this is an integer so at one the function is divided you have one branch as you approach one from left hand side the value will be zero as you approach one from right hand side the greatest integer of x will be 1 right so therefore you have to use at one the left hand limit and right hand limit so first let us uh, solve the left hand limit that is limit x tends to 1 minus 1 minus is for the values which are less than 1 and uh, greatest integer of x minus 1 so now what is the meaning of 1 minus 1 minus is all the values which are less than 1 let us imagine this is 0.9 okay so i'll take x as 0.9 now at 0.9 what is the value of x 0.9 what is the value of x minus 1 right so the value of x minus 1 is minus 0.1 so minus 0.1 and uh, what is minus 0.1 here understand so from minus 1 till 0 the step is here so understand from 0 to minus 1 the greatest integer of minus 0.1 greatest integer of minus 0.5 everything is minus 1 correct so this will be like uh, minus 0.1 no? because x is 0.9 and that is uh, minus 1 correct so greatest integer of x minus 1 will be minus 1 we are talking about the neighborhood of 1 no? so we have to take the values very close to 1 okay but on the left side Uh, well so that is about the greatest integer of x minus 1 next uh, we have to find the right hand limit on the right hand limit you have limit x tends to 1 plus 
and greatest integer of x minus 1 this is easier to understand because you will get positive now greater than 1 so greater than 1 I will take x is equal to 1.1 so if I take 1.1 here what it is going to be 1.1 minus 1 it will be plus 0 0.1 so if you have 0 0.1 here what is y value 0 so that is 0 so greatest integer of 0 0.1 is 0 you can take 1.5 let us say if you take 1.5 this will be 0 0.5 greatest integer of 0 0.5 is 0 okay so that's the way you should understand this uh, greatest integer so graph is very handy please remember the step function okay greatest integer function is step function because the graph looks like the steps okay so are they equal now no they are not so lhl is not equal to rhl what does that say limit does not exist so for the modulus function and for the greatest integer function you usually get limit does not exist here you get limit does not exist because we are checking at integer point so at every integer point the graph is not continuous okay it is broken it is broken so therefore you are not getting the left hand and the right hand which do not match all right so let's move to the 14th question over here uh, you have a expression you have an expression which is of the form limit x tends to a x to the power n minus a to the power n divided by x minus a whose answer is n into a to the power n minus 1 right so that's the formula we must use here so you have got limit x tends to 3 which means a is 3 and here you have x to the power n minus a to the power n because a is 3 correct so a is 3 and x minus 3 that is of the uh, that is x minus a so it is uh, perfectly matching the formula the left hand side of the formula so in this place in this place we must write the right hand side of the formula so this that will be going to be n that will uh, be n and uh, what is a here a is 3 raised to n minus 1 so that's equal to 108 i hope you understood so in this place i have replaced the rhs of the formula with the value of a a is 3 what do we do not know we do not know n so we have to find the positive integer n here so we have to rearrange this term 108 in order to suit the LHL uh, uh, left hand side LHS so I need a quantity okay so similar to this so let us divide by 3 or multiples of 3 so this can be expressed as a so if you divide by uh, 3 and you can check that that will be like 4 into 27 so that's the multiple of 3 correct now 27 can be written as a 3 cube is it not so this is 4 and 3 3 can be written as 4 minus 1 so if this is 4 minus 1 that is like n minus 1 and this is perfectly matching with this therefore what is the value of n the value of n is 4 which is option d so this was a little tricky because uh, you're playing with the numbers here okay so you need to do trial and error method and uh, uh, this is the uh, perfect way you can write this well i hope you understood this okay so uh, that is the end of uh, limits of polynomials and rational functions uh, in the next class uh, we will uh, start with the limits of trigonometric functions so thank you for watching don't forget to like our video and subscribe our YouTube channel for all the updates.